below make sure to hit that like, share, subscribe and also hit that bell notification so you can get notified for new videos like this. Thank you and enjoy. Divine One. <laughs> hey there. You're the Divine Dragon, right? Got a second to talk? Who might you be? Me? I'm a blacksmith. You can call me Kelne. And I am Pinay, a clothier. Pleased to meet you. I'll cut right to it. Our friend Durton wrote us and said he opened a shop at your base. And, well, we'd like to go there too. We'll be a real help. I can strengthen your weapons. My clothes and accessories won't win you any battles, but they will catch eyes and turn heads. If Durton vouches for you, that's good enough for me. Please come along to the Somnio. Really? That's great. You'll be glad to have us around, I promise. Indeed. Thank you, Divine One. <laughs> okay. I think I lost him. <laughs> really? You sure about that, darling? <laughs> You're shaking like a leaf. I take it you failed to obtain the ring. Uh, uh, apologies, ma'am. Those guys were tougher than they looked. But I... I can tell you things. Stuff that'll help you track it down. Like the fact that Princess Saline ran off with it. The Divine Dragon has it now. Pretty good info, right? Hmm. What do you say? How about we call it even this time around? I won't let you down again. Oh. How naive you are. After you fail me once, there is no second chance. No! Please don't kill me! Please don't kill me! <laughs> I am sorry, my lady. Apologies for the mess. And our failure to acquire the ring. I was expecting to get at least one. At least now we know that Lumera is dead. Yes, but there's another divine dragon to take her place. I can't believe that Beast had a child. It does explain why she was so willing to sacrifice her life. What should we do? The battle at Lethos Castle took its toll. We're in no shape for another confrontation. We'd best lie low for a spell. Leave them be, for now. Understood. These pills ought to clear up the problem. Let me know if the pain persists, okay? And you're looking chipper today. I told you that cold would be gone before you know it. Father, isn't it time you took a break? Look, I made you some tea. Thank you, John. You didn't burn yourself or anything preparing it, I hope. You worry too much. 
I'm old enough to manage a simple pot of tea, I assure you. <laughs> it makes me happy to see you growing up so fine. Huh? What's going on out there? Doctor, you have to help us. Monsters are on the attack and people are getting hurt. <laughs> What the devil are those beasts? This will get ugly. Sean, go and hide. I'll take care of bringing people to the clinic. This way, everyone. If you're unhurt, then assist someone who is injured. Must pull together. I know father told me to hide, but how can I? I have to do my part, too. Shelter at the clinic. Keep your wits about you, everyone. I'll patch you up once the crisis has passed. We can't stand idle with the corrupted on the loose. Let's save those villagers. Are you all right? Get to safety and leave the corrupted to us. You don't have to tell me twice. But there's still a few left who didn't make it out in time. We'll do everything in our power to save as many of them as we can. They'll love you for it if you do. You're their last hope at this point. There are so many wounded we couldn't get to the clinic. Is it up to me to treat them all? Father, I'm here to help. If we split up, we can treat everyone. John, I thought I told you to run and hide. I can't stay hidden away when there are so many who need my help. After all, father, am I not your son? You taught me that a doctor does whatever is needed. My lessons have sunk in, I see. Very well, then. Come and give me a hand. We fight for peace. Whatever you ask. I live to serve. I'll do my best. I am your weapon. Don't know how much use you'll get out of this, but every little bit helps, right? I won't get lost. Me? Okay. Is it over? Underestimate me at 
your peril! This is the mission of the stewards. Won't be much use in this state. I'd better head to the rear lines to rest. I will defend, always. It's not safe here. You should be running. I can't. I'm the local doctor's son. I won't leave until I've helped the injured. You've got a lot of heart for your kid your age. All right. Let's join forces and save those villagers. I really appreciate the help. My name's John. Now come on. There's work to do. Ah! 
That was eye opening. Sounds perfect. you right. Unbelievable! All the monsters are gone! We're saved! And it's thanks to the lot of you. I'm glad no one got hurt. I was a little worried there. 
You can't know what this means to us. We decided to give you this to show our thanks. Come now, Zhang. Give the nice people a proper thank you. Oh, right. Thank you for saving our village. We saved it together. You did well today, Zhang. Oh, I introduced myself to you, but I never asked your name, did I? Well, there was a lot going on. I'm the Divine Dragon. The Divine Dragon? From the land of Lethos? Oh, please forgive my rudeness. Don't mention it. Like I said, there was a lot going on at the time. What brings such a splendid personage to our humble village? I've been on a journey to defeat the Fell Dragon and bring peace to the world. The whole world? Wow. If it's all right with you, Divine One, can I come along and help? <gasps> so, what's gotten into you? My dream has always been to become a doctor so I can save people. And that hasn't changed. But with monsters running rampant, I might die before I can do that. Look what just happened. At the Divine Dragon's side, I think I can learn to fight and to heal people at the same time. Well, that's all very well for you. But what about the Divine Dragon? you just be a burden. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Not if what he did during that battle is anything to go by. If Sean wants to come, I don't mind. Though I understand why you'd be worried. Well, if he has your permission, then... I can only ask that you take good care of my boy. What? You're actually allowing him to go? Father, I told you, you don't need to worry about me. It's not like I'm never coming home. In fact, when I do return, I'll be a first-rate doctor. You'll see. How quickly they grow up. Of course, Sha. Be a good boy, a hard worker, and an attentive student. And come home safe. I will. Thank you, both of you. I can't wait to start working alongside the Divine Dragon. The feeling is mutual, Jean. I have a hunch that I'll be leaning on you a lot in the days to come. Thank you. May I uh...
Almost there. Just a little farther north and we'll be at the shrine. The landscape's gotten rockier. We're near Brodia. It's all mountains up there. I'm seeing fewer villages as well. Makes this a good place to hide an emblem ring, I suppose. Yeah. The closer you are to the Brodian border, the colder and quieter it gets. Look. Not a soul in sight. You're right. There's no one around. Except her. Oh. Take a little look around. Wait for it. I wonder what she's doing here. <laughs> she's crying. Oh, well, doesn't that break the heart? I'd better help. I am her prince, after all. I won't stand by when my people are suffering. Alfred, wait! <laughs> oh, what a scrape I'm in! Hey there! Huh? What's the matter? Something I can help with? <gasps> Z Z oh, I knew we'd startle you. Sorry for popping up out of nowhere and... Zippy! You came just in time! I'm saved! Uh... I lost something earlier and there was nobody around to help, so I got real stressed out. Oh, right. I skipped over the niceties. You can call me Yunaka. Hiya, Papaya! Hiya, Papaya? Huh. I've never heard that one before. Anyway, what did you lose, Yunaka? It's a little round ring. Kind of shiny with a hole in the middle. Oh, and it talks for some reason. Come again? Yeah, I figured you wouldn't believe me. I believe you. It might be an emblem ring. Please, go on. What did it say? Hmm. Well, if I remember right, it asked me to take it to the Divine Dragon. To me? Is that... Did you... Uh, are you saying you're the Divine Dragon? Yes, I am. I'm sorry I didn't mention it sooner. I'm the Divine Dragon. And now that we're doing introductions, I'm Alfred, the Prince of Firene. Holy broccoli! Why didn't you lead with that? I think I just had a heart attack. Nope, false alarm. Phew. I'm so sorry. I never meant to impact your health. Yunaka, how did you find the ring? I was walking along the border, minding my own business, when I heard a woman's voice. Help me. I'm right here. I'm by your foot. Huh. You're quite the performer. Anyway, I picked up the ring and she said, Take me to the Divine Dragon. But at that point, I had no idea where the Divine Dragon was, so I told her I couldn't help. She knew the way, though. Told me to start heading for the capital of Firene. Oh, that's good advice. The quickest way to get to Lethos is through the capital. But on the way, I was attacked by bandits and ran off full speed. And now the ring's gone. I must have dropped it somewhere. Woe is me. Sniffle, sniffle. But now that you're here, you're gonna help me find it, right? Right? After hearing her story, this definitely sounds like an emblem ring. Probably the Ring of the Dawn Maiden. But that means someone took it from the shrine. Or it could be another emblem ring. We'll just have to find it and see for ourselves. All right, Yunaka. We'll help you. Golly, that's great news. She'll be so happy if you're the one who finds her. Let's start by retracing your steps. No sign of the ring so far. Maybe somebody got to it before we did. Yeah, everyone's combing the area. If it was lying around, we would have found it by now. You're sure you didn't lose it before the bandits attacked? I had it on me when I passed through that ghost town over there. Huh? What is it? It looks like the town's overrun with bandits. What? How can you tell? I'll bet these are the same chumps who ambushed me earlier. Let's take a closer look. They've taken over the town. These are the bandits I ran into earlier. No doubt about it. And that means one of them's got... Aha! Right there. You see it? Yeah, a burly guy with something glinting in his hand. That's gotta be our missing ring. What do you think, Divine One? Is it an emblem ring? 
Hmm. He's too far. I really can't say. You must have great eyesight, Yunaka. Yeah, I have a killer's eyes. What was that? Killer eyes! I've got killer eyes! You know, they're great at seeing stuff. If you ever need something looked at real good, I'm your gal! <laughs> anyway, what's the plan now? We've got two problems that need solving. A stolen ring and a town full of bandits. The ring's our first priority, but we can't leave them unchecked. We'll only attract attention if we all charge in at once. I say we split up. You know, send in a small group to recover the ring. Nice and stealthy. All right. Okay, then. Come on, Divine One. You're with me. Okie dokes. If we go through here, I bet we can sneak up on that guy with the ring. Slipping through a side passage. Smart thinking, Yunaka. It's pitch black out here. How can we fight them if we can't even see them? Don't worry, Divine One. That's what I'm here for. eyesight's so sharp, I can spot baddies even when it's dark or foggy. Till you get your hands on a torch, at least. Then you'll see as well as I can. There he is! Let's take him by surprise. Good idea. Please, take me to the Divine Dragon. <laughs> this looks pretty pricey. This'll net me a nice lump of gold. The boss doesn't need to know about it. <laughs> oh dear. You can't even hear me, can you? I hear her! That's the voice from before! That's definitely an emblem ring. Yunaka, will you help me get it back? Of course, you weirdo! That's why we're here! Right. Well, thank you. You know... Now that I hear her, your impression was incredibly accurate. <laughs> Stop. You're going to make me blush. Makaya, I sense the future shifting. Now victory lies ahead. Ah, so it is the Ring of the Dawn Maiden. Yunaka, I entrust this ring to you. Me? Uh, but I... She belongs with you. All I ask is that in return, you help us defeat these bandits. Will you join with Emblem Makaya? Yeah, okay. I won't let you down. Yunaka, let me show you how to use staves. What's next? Yes, here. 
I'm ready. I'm listening. Where to? Whatever you say. Let's hear it. I am ready to serve. Your orders, please. Looks like we got us some uninvited guests. Snuff the lights, you lot! You got it! Looks like our cover's blown. They're snuffing the torches. Don't sweat it. We can relight them as we go. I've got this. Lend me your strength. This is the mission of the stewards. You were beautiful while you lasted. what I trained for. I will defend. 
always. you ah! a right and proper end I live to fight again I still stand. Forget you. I am the 32nd steward of the dragon.
A little late to be saving the day. We killed off the villagers ages ago. <laughs> Guided by the emblems. With my magic, you may illuminate even the darkest of places. Retreating. I'm not sure I'm cut out to be a steward. That's the last of the bandits. You've been a huge help, Yunaka. If not for you, we'd be scratching our heads in an empty shrine right about now. I can't thank you enough. It was nothing, really. I wonder who took it from the shrine in the first place. It must have been those bandits, right? Uh, well... What's the matter? I have a... uh... confession. The thing is... I didn't find the ring. I stole it. Huh? I was strapped for money, and when I saw the shrine, I figured it might have valuables. I went inside, heard Micaiah's voice, and... Pow! There's the ring, staring right at me. I was just looking to make a quick bundle of dough. I I'm sorry. I see. When I learned that you two were royalty, I panicked, and... Kinda... well... lied. Really, I'm no different from those bandits. I'll accept whatever punishment you give me. Hold on. You were planning to sell the ring? Yeah. Well then, why didn't you? You could have run for the hills as soon as the Divine Dragon handed it to you. 
We're useless in the dark. Would have been easy to give us the slip. But instead, you stuck around and risked your neck for us. Why? Well, because of Makaya. When she started talking to me, I got this feeling that I just couldn't shake. I felt like... like I had to help her get to the Divine Dragon. Yunaka has shown me nothing but kindness. Fighting by her side, I saw a bright path ahead. When I sensed Sombron's return, I called out in the dark. It was she who answered. I am to blame for entangling her in all this. Yunaka has done nothing wrong. I hear you, but she did lie to us. As Prince, I'm not supposed to let that go without some sort of punishment. Lay it on me. I can handle it. How about... joining our forces? Say, what now? We're on a journey to collect the Emblem Rings and defeat the Fell Dragon. I know it's a lot to ask, but... Will you pledge yourself to our cause? What do you think, Alfred? A fitting punishment? <laughs> I love it! Our army is pretty lean, so adding a new recruit makes a lot of sense. And Yunaka clearly has raw talent. She could be a real asset. I won't let you down. Thank you. Both of you. Don't mention it. And Yunaka, allow me to be the first to say... Hiya, Papaya. Uh... <laughs> Papaya, back at ya, Divine One. With that settled, let's hurry onward. We've got to cross into Brodia, right? Yes. Mother sent a letter to the Brodian King when we left the castle. He should be expecting us. Good. The Kingdom of Might. I'm curious to see what it's like there. Huh? Is that... Hey! Hmm? You're the girl I met in Flora Milltown. Vale, wasn't it? Oh! What a coincidence finding you here! I'm glad to see you again. You left so abruptly last time, it really caught me off guard. Do you live around here? No, I'm just passing through. Well, looking for someone, really. Who are you looking for? A person I must talk to again no matter what. My sibling. You were separated then. I'm sorry. It's painful to be apart from one's family. Do you have any idea where to look? None. I don't even know what face to look for. We've been apart since I was very young. But they did give me something long ago. This. What a pretty stone. It's my good luck charm. I know that as long as I have this, we'll be reunited someday. I'm sure you will. But don't forget to take care of yourself. Look, your leg's wounded. This kind of thing happens all the time. Looks pretty deep. There. That ought to hold for a while. 
Thank you. You're quite kind to help a complete stranger like me. You're not a stranger. You saved my life, remember? That makes us friends as far as I'm concerned. And friends help each other. Friends? <laughs> Should I not have said that? No, no. I'm just so happy to have someone I can call a friend. It's like a dream. I can't recall the last time I was treated with such kindness. What do you mean by that? I'm sorry, but I have to go. Are you sure? Thank you for the bandage. Hope to see you again. There she goes. See you around, Vale.